Hello, 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 everyone. You are now live with Dave Jose on YouTube. I am hoping that you guys are having a blessed day. Let me know if you can hear me well. Yes, stuff is starting to heat up. And today we're going to bring that fire. We're going to bring that smoke and you guys are going to see some things that I tell you guys. See, we got a lot of people out there who are watching from the sideline. We got a big thing with attorneys and some people who fight the movement who have this issue where they believe that they need us to prove to them what we're doing while they're not doing what we're doing. <laughs> so when we try to, what's up the consultant? When we try to bring forth that fire and that smoke in order to help people know what they can do, right? We help people to know what their rights are, right? We help people to know what their power is. We keep getting people who say, well, we got to test this. We got to figure out, look, dude, I'm already living what I do, right? So if you're not doing what I do as an attorney, if you're not out there every single day fighting hard for the people and dropping smoke every single day, we don't really need uh, for you to be the judge of what really works, what's happening, what's not. And it doesn't matter if you can believe it or not. Now, I want to say what's up to... Uh, the uh, True Patriot, Love America, Brian Cates, Lindsay Lioness, Kimberly, Big Rico, Clint, Desiree Parker, Big Leo, 71. Let's see who else is on. I know, I think I seen Ivan on earlier. What's up, Big Ivan? Am I frozen, y'all? Because it looks like it's not allowing this stream to go up and down. What's up, Apple Dumpling? What's up, Tracy Cunningham? How you living? What's up, Krista? Big Ivan in the house. I see him again. Deborah, how's it going? Devil's Advocate, how's it going? All right. Uh, Steven Samuels, how's it going? Katie Bird. Uh oh, no. Caddy Bird, what's up? What's up, Divine Sovereign, Creator's Kid? John H2O, A2J Holly Love, what's up? Terry Breland, what's up? Deborah Nichols, what's up? All right, Roger Jones, what's up? Now, everybody, please share this, y'all. I'm going to give y'all some bombshell information that you won't find anywhere else, except for probably Josh Barnett if he wants to show it, because me, Josh Barnett, and one other person is the only one in America that really knows exactly what happened, except for Sidney Powell, General Flynn, and President Trump. <laughs> Oh, and those attorneys in the White House. Um, no, that is a um, Buick. That one is a Buick GSX. That's a picture I had just sitting for a long time. And I just got it put up yesterday. I want to get some more. Um, but guys, I'm here to let you know that there's some stuff that has happened that uh, mainstream media will hide from you. Um, attorneys will definitely want to hide this from you. They don't want you to know what powers we have. <clears throat> I'm going to also let y'all know that not only did Josh and I come up with mad remedy across the nation for tons of people, but we also came up with remedy for the nation as well as it was for the people, but it would have affected in a positive way Donald Trump. If Donald Trump would have followed the remedy that we gave, Donald Trump would be in office right now. But Donald Trump didn't follow because he listened to attorneys. So if you're trying to find remedy, the Bible tells us that it says, woe unto you lawyers, for you hide the key of knowledge. We gave Trump the key of knowledge. I told you guys before how we gave orders to Trump to take the machines, right? Now, for the first time, I'm seeing an American news article that explains what happened. And the funny thing is, it tells y'all exactly what I told y'all. Now, many people say, well, I don't think David could have done that. I don't think Josh Barnett could have done that. I don't think anybody else they work with could have done that. I don't believe that this stuff works. I don't believe this stuff has teeth. I don't believe this stuff can help. I don't believe, I don't believe, I don't believe. The funny thing about being somebody who goes out and does things differently then other people will, is that your success is not based on what people believe. Your success is not based on how many people trust what you say. 
Your success is not based on how many people will follow you, right? So I'm going to come out with real, real, real freaking facts today. Real truth, real stuff that you can verify outside of me. I'm a nothing and I'm a nobody. But let's see if Josh Barnett and I really lead the people in the nation and do exactly what the freak we say we're going to do. Let's see if Josh Barnett and I Really get out there and do exactly what the freak we say we do and are going to do. See, you're seeing stuff shaking all around the nation. And people are seeing like, oh, they're talking about doing a slaughter. They're talking about doing a slaughter. Oh, shucks. Now they're talking about it. Oh, shucks. Now the courts are talking about it. Guys, what's happening is, is that the courts do not want to help us. The courts do not want justice. They are the bar. The bar members have infiltrated the courts. They hate uh, in general. Not everybody, but they hate Sidney Powell. They hate Trump. They hate uh, Giuliani. They hate Lynn Wood. And it's funny that the news media is helping them. So what you have to understand is, is that I'm telling you guys about some stuff that happened behind the scenes when nobody else was doing it. You show me somebody who was writing orders to Trump right after the selection. You show somebody me somebody who was writing affidavits and orders to the government officials to force a AUDIT. Show me anybody in America doing it. People might have said, let us have this. People might have sent emails. People might have sent documents. But show me what attorney, what man or woman, anywhere in the whole country sent out documents to Donald Trump to lead him in the way to go, sent out documents to the government officials, affidavits, where they had to swear under the penalty of perjury what the law was, show me somebody in the whole nation. I got attorneys who want to judge what I do. I have attorneys who want to come online and talk about what has been done and pour ice water and figure out if it's legit or not, or if their judges will follow it. Well, let's understand something, y'all. Let's understand something. What we must understand is, is the power belongs to we, the people. And Look, I don't give a darn about what somebody says is our right. I give a darn about the people standing up for their rights. So what I'm going to do is show you, and guys, forgive me, my friend's kid is over, and I think my friend's kid has an earache, so they're doing a treatment, so the little one is going to be loud. Um, so anyway, guys, what I'm telling you is, is that there is real life stuff that I can show you that has happened that nobody wants to explain. I'm going to get to it in a second. I'm waiting for Josh Barnett to come on and I'm getting ready to pray. So if you can't wait for me, just please uh, turn off the video so you don't get mad at me and bored and just go somewhere else and uh, wait, go have some fun, go eat some ice cream. If you need me to send you a couple of bucks, I'll send you to go get some ice cream on me. And then when you feel like coming back and seeing the video and you have patience with me, then you can um, watch the video and see what's up. But you know, you could just skip eight minutes and 14 seconds because I'm talking about stuff that you don't want to hear right now. All right. So anyway, I'm going to get ready to pray and then we're going to rock and roll. We're going to get jiggy with it. Who wants to see what's up? By the time I'm done praying, please put in the comments if you want to see that fire, if you want to see what we did, if you want to see if it's true, if you want to see it's the real deal, let me know. All right. So let's pray. Dear Heavenly Father, we thank you for this wonderful day that you have given us and allowed us to be able to partake in another experience of breathing the breath of life. And Father, we thank you so much for peace. We thank you so much for joy, Father. We thank you so much for company, Father, uh, and people who we can take joy in while we wait for our blessings. And Father, we just ask that you continue to bless the people, continue to give us strength, Father, let the people see what was done openly today, Father. Let the people see what was done in private. And let the people see, Father, where they have strength and courage and how we have been fighting this fight for quite some time. And just because people cannot see what it is that you do, Father, doesn't mean that you are not doing it. And Father, we just thank you so much for your goodness, so much for your mercy, so much for your patience, Father, so much for your loving kindness, and so much for the beautiful people who are on here watching right now. Father, we ask that you be with us as we show these things, that you give us strength and courage, and that you help us stand, Father, mightily, because we trust in you. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. All right. Who wants to see the smoke? <clears throat> who wants to see the smoke? Let me get my coffee ready. Hold on one second. All 
All right. Y'all remember I told y'all Josh Barnett and I and myself and another person sent out affidavits. Uh-oh, Josh Barnett is here. Watch this. History will be made in Maricopa. God wins. So Josh Barnett is off that super smoke, that super fire. So what I want to do is I want to send Josh a link. Let me see how I can do this. Okay, I'm going to send this to you, Josh, if you want to come on. I know it's 9.15, so you should be done with your biz, possibly. All right, so we're going to get this link to Josh so he can tell if we're telling the truth or not. You know, I always like for there to be witnesses of what's being done. I don't like to just say it. Let's see, streamyard.com. Streamyard.com forward slash. Oh, everybody writing it down like, oh, I'm about to jump on this one. The trolls watch it like, is he literally just saying this in front of us so we could get on this video and try to interrupt? That's funny. Okay, let's go. Josh, I just sent that. Oh, wait, almost messed up. Almost messed up. Eight. Okay, I almost had it wrong. Okay, guys. So, Josh, I just sent that to your uh, email, the one we use. Now, guys, I want to let you know, guys, that um, it's about to get ugly, okay, in a good way. Now, what I want us to do is I want us to look at some real-life fire. And if y'all see Josh get on, I don't know if I'm going to be able to see the comments, so let me open up YouTube. So if he is watching and he, he's waiting in the chat, I need you guys to tell me because I can't see everything that's happening, okay? So I need you guys to tell me because I can't see everything that's going down. <clears throat> Let me see how I can get this rolling. Please forgive me. Um, okay, so this should let me see it. How do I see it? Okay, it's showing me the live. Okay, we're good. Oh, Josh is here. Good, right on time. What up, Big Josh? There you go. I can hear you now. How you living, cuz? Okay. Let's slide this over a little more. There we go. How you living? I'm good. I'm good. I'm ready. I'm ready for that smoke. I've been waiting all morning. <laughs> you got any watermelon? I got some cotton candy. Woo! I'm gonna be the first politician or servant, sorry, the first servant that's sponsored by Rockstar. <laughs> They're going to sponsor me. They're going to owe me for this. Everybody's saying, what's up, Josh? What's up, everybody? So, Josh, we're going to drop some fire and smoke today. I know that um, we get a lot of stuff done behind the scenes that we don't come out and tell everybody, some for some very good reasons, because we know we got some people who would love to interfere with what it is that we're doing. Um, but we have done some things in history that... Um, was done to save the nation. And the sad thing is that not everybody, hold on a second, not everybody is um, in the know. So I want to, if it's okay, you let me know what I can ask you, what I can. If I ask something that I shouldn't ask you, just say, Dave, no, I can't talk about that. And just kick me over to the next thing. <laughs> but um, so Josh, when it comes to saving the nation, right? Were we involved in anything uh, in order to help to deal with the nation not being stolen, did we send out any anything that um, would give government officials orders or the ability to change what was going on in the nation? We did absolutely nothing, and I know nothing about what you're talking about. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know anything about those affidavits that went up through Sidney Powell. I have no idea what you're talking about. Oh, gosh. So, so it is possible that Sidney Powell got some affidavits from the people, yeah, and um, and they could have said something that it could have been orders to to the president, possibly. Yeah, I, I think. I mean, that's very possible. I mean, she definitely had affidavits. I know for sure they got passed up. We went through different channels, as you know. You know, we went um, through the Giuliani side, the Powell side, any side we could get on. You know, Congressman Gozar had him. Remember, we took a stack. Oh, yeah, I forgot about that. So he took those out. And I'm not sure 
who he gave those to, but I trust they went somewhere that could get some help. What's up? Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's fine. All right. All right. All right. No problem, man. Have a good one. Um, you know, so I don't, I don't know um, which direction those went, you know, for sure. But uh, I'm sure the congressman, you know, gave them to somebody that could um, help the situation. So let me ask you, in those documents, those affidavits or notices, was Trump given any specific orders that could help the nation? We told him to snatch these Dominion machines up and get them looked at. What? I mean, in general, I'm, 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 you know. Where'd Josh go, y'all? <laughs> did they just, did they just boot my boy Josh? What the heck going on here? Did they just freeze up my homie, y'all? Let me know if y'all can hear me. Tell me if y'all could hear Dave or you could hear Josh. That's funny how that works. <laughs> he was just about to let some smoke out. I mean, choo-choo. Josh is frozen. Y'all can hear me though, right? Okay. So guys, Josh is just getting ready to tell y'all some freaking real, 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 real fire stuff. And... Uh, Josh just made a statement, y'all, that that some orders got sent out to Trump through um, Giuliani's side and through Sidney Powell's side. Now, it's funny that Josh is telling y'all about sides, right, chains, where we had access to the government officials through certain people we know on one side and certain people we met on the other side. Now, what's funny is he's back. All right. You, you. All right. Sorry, guys. But um, where were we? You were talking about uh, we uh, us sending out notices or affidavits. Oh, yeah, yeah. Basically, the affidavit in general said, you know, we, we want a forensic audit on the machines, everything, the paper, just like we got Maricopa right now. We want a forensic audit. We, the people, demand this, you know, by our constitutional right. And we clearly showed where that's at and why, why we're asking what we're asking. Did we did we happen to use his order, thirteen uh, eight forty eight against uh, for him to use because he yes. wrote it already in two thousand eighteen yeah. and yeah, demanded we, him to follow it? Yeah, specifically asked this EO to be used. To basically, use your executive order that was already written ahead of time. Now I do know. Wait, wait, Josh, can I ask you a question? Because I know yeah. you're you're smart with the law and business and life. So you just said something and it just struck me. So we told him to use his own executive order, right? If he would have used his own executive order, would that be considered a remedy? I would say that's a remedy. I, I can't think of a better remedy than that. That's a big solution, is it? Because, I mean, Trump doesn't have a sheriff, but he did have a solution given to him that he could have sent the uh, marshals or whoever to yeah. go grab those machines, couldn't he? Yeah. Yeah, he probably, he probably could have used the military to get the machines. And the thing is, we didn't need the whole actual machine itself. You know, like people are like, we just need the hard drive. They need a hard drive to take a look. And that's it. And that's what Ted Cruz kept saying. Give us 10 days to check out these machines. And then and then we can decide if we're going to certify these this electoral slate or not. That's all okay. he was asking for. And what Ted Cruz said was exactly what should have happened. So, and here's the thing. Trump would not have been working on his own, would he? Because it was the people who ordered Trump to do it, right? Yeah, yeah, for sure. It was definitely, definitely, um, this, this EO, Trump knew back from 18 that they were cheating. He, he set them up, you know, he set them up and this is all good. You guys are going to see what comes out here on June 28th or within the following week thereafter when the, when the final report comes out in Maricopa, you're going to see exactly what I'm talking about. But, um, you know, if you think Trump wrote this executive order two years prior, basically, and it didn't have anything lined up, to catch them, then you don't know Trump very well. So let me ask you this, Josh. So do you remember the other part of the affidavit and order? Wasn't it um, Article 4, Section 4 of the United States Constitution pretty much saying mm -hmm. the people have a right to a Republican form of government and that the government officials in Arizona have changed the law, blocked the people's power to have what they desire? That was in there too, right? Yeah, I mean, you guys have seen the people, the secretary of states all over the country trying to rig the election by extending out dates you can send your your, your fake mail-in ballots, um, you know, voting for like an entire season, like a football season of voting, 
instead of one day, like it should be, you know, we see, we saw from day one, what was happening, what they're trying to do. And, um, and when you have a hundred plus percent voter turnout, obviously that's not, obviously there's major fraud involved when that happens. <laughs> mm -hmm. When there's 90% turnout, when there's 103% turnout, obviously that's literally impossible. When there's more voters than ballots, that's impossible. And this has happened all over the country, people. We're not making this up. This is not, we're not, this is not, I'm making this stuff up out of thin air. This is real. And, and, and I know, I know we're preaching to the choir here probably, but we have to, we have to pass this knowledge on. You know what? I don't even bother wasting my time trying to argue this with liberals or the people on the left. I just like, I just, I just sit back. You'll see. I, I don't even waste my time because they're going to believe whatever they're going to believe. What I, what I have fun with was watching Rachel Maddow, which I've never watched in my life outside of clips that people post on her crazy ass. And I went on MSNBC, I turned her on, and she was tripping about Maricopa County. I mean, going crazy. And it was the most fun I've had in a while watching something. <laughs> she was nuts. There's something wrong. There's something on it. There's a screw loose of that lady. And I don't know if it's a haircut or what, but there's something wrong with her. But the, I, then I watched uh, George Stephanopoulos and these other people. They're out of their minds. It's so much fun to watch. Because well, when, they know, they know what they know what happened. They know what they know what they did. We caught them, and they're going to go down for it. And the people are coming and not stopping. That's the thing. Like we're never they stop. were expecting, they were expecting for the people to just lay down and drop it like they normally do. And see, this is funny. I, I want to ask you something, Josh. Now I know there's some people like Liz Harris who were who was out walking the freaking street, yeah, fighting. Um, <clears throat> Eric Winook. Um, who you're very close to, who was um, working in the midst of the time where people were filled with despair. Um, Adele, um, who who put together a lot of the rallies when people were hopeless, right? Yeah. Yeah. Um, and then, of course, there was the government side. Congressman Gosar, Borelli, um, uh, Fincham, yeah. these other guys, which... You know, when I speak about what's happening, I don't usually mention the government side because the people had to move the government side and then the government side started going like crazy. So I don't always look at them as the original starters, because when we were first out there, a few came. But, you know, if Adele didn't set up an event or you didn't have something or you didn't bring people together, really, there would be no situation to have anybody come to. So. Yeah. Yeah. There's some people who started this thing off when nobody else was doing anything and yeah. they were hopeless. So I wanted to ask you, um, when it first started out that we started to deal with these issues, um, who all did you give notice to? And those notices that you gave to Trump, did you also give them to the legislature of Arizona? I gave them to uh, Senator Fan, who's the president of the Senate. Mm -hmm. um, Rusty Bowers, the Speaker of the House. And of course, notice to all of them at that point, right? To everybody in the legislature. Um, gave Steve Chukri of the Maricopa Board of Supervisors, um, him specifically. Um, and then uh, who else? Who else? Secretary Stag. We give to everybody, you know, but but in particular for the legislature, um, was definitely given it in the Maricopa Board of Supervisors. Got you. And so. When you gave out this notice and it started hitting different people, right? Of course, it's something that's never been done before. So you were leading in that arena. Um, when you started sending this out, did you have a situation where people in government called you crazy or anything like that? No, nobody, nobody, nobody said anything like that. Um, I have been told in the last few weeks, and we're tired of those notices. So, you know what? I said, you know what I told him? I said, good. I'm glad. I'm glad you're getting it because people are paying attention. They know what they know what's going on. They know what you're doing. Not mm -hmm. him specifically, but I'm saying they know what you're doing as in the government. You know, most people there don't know what the hell they're talking about when it comes to the Constitution. And, yeah. uh, and, 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 we're, and we're teaching them. And if they, if they don't like it, they start. You know what? You wouldn't receive all these notices if you all do your jobs. So the notices seems like it makes them uncomfortable a little bit? A little uncomfortable, but um, you know, even even if to me, even if it's an, a, some type of annoyance, I'm good at that, because <laughs> because these people, like I said, and I told them, I go, well, if y'all do your jobs, you won't be getting all these notices, because we wouldn't have, we wouldn't have a reason to send them in, and uh, and um, 
and have a frequent recurrence, like we always say, yeah. um, to the <laughs> fundamental principles, you know. And, mm -hmm. and I wouldn't have to remind you of your job title, your job description in the state constitution if you'd actually, if the people would be doing their jobs. So when you send out these notices, right, and people see what you're doing, what's been your response on Twitter? And we are going to show proof, guys, of everything we did. Um, but I want Josh to tell this because I don't just do these shows for us. Josh Barnett has affected a lot of people in this country. Um, and it seems like God keeps opening the door for people like Candace Harris. I mean, uh, Taylor, Candace Taylor. And uh, I, I started thinking about uh, Owens and somebody else. Oh, yeah. But Candace Taylor. And um, when we think about um, the different states right now that are fighting using affidavits, it seems like when you start talking about these things and showing people that they start building up courage and becoming stronger. So can you tell me what it's like when you give out these notices and then you share it with the world that the people see like on your Twitter, what happens? What's the effect? Uh, well, the people, the people, it's a combination of excitement and anger, you know, um, because when you, when you see, when you see you have something you can fight with, it's exciting. You know, I got something I can fight with now, but it also makes you mad because you see your rights being trampled right before your eyes. So there is kind of a combination. I, not, it's righteous anger, you know, at this point. But uh, we, we have something to fight with. We have something to show them, hey, you're, you're, you're doing harm against the people and this is exactly what's happening. Here's what should be happening and we're going to correct it. Now, when you attack like this, are you finding that you're getting more... Um... Are you getting, are the people building up their confidence more? Oh, no doubt. No doubt. Because when you're, when you're knowledgeable, your confidence is going to be off the charts. When, you, when you're not sure, and you, you're not sure, you're kind of timid, right? Mm -hmm. But the, when the people are like, no, hey, I know what Article 2, Section 2 says. I know what Article 2, Section 21 says. Like, you're not slipping up by me anymore. It's not going to work. So what you're doing, I want to be stopped immediately, and I want to correct it. So let me ask you this. So when you sent out the notices to everyone, um, a lot of people will say, does this have any teeth? Does this have any power? Um, did your relationships with government officials change? I would say it has teeth like a shark's got like five rows of teeth, <laughs> you know, because, because these government officials, um, at least the ones I talk with now, um, you know, they, uh, you know, it's never been like, oh, Josh, um, I'm cool with you. They're not outright coming out saying it, but I talk to them now and we, we talk on a regular basis. So did I used to talk before like that. No, I, I didn't even know Karen fan. So you talked to a lot of different I never people. Knew Rusty Bauer. I met Rusty once. I never met Karen before. I knew Sonny randomly. You know what I mean? But I never, never really talked to these people on a regular basis. Um, I was busy campaigning and everything. I didn't have a whole lot of time to really sit down and get to know these people. But when I, when I, when I got to know Karen, I realized, or she realized what was happening, I think. And then she turned into this fighting machine, mm -hmm. you know, and she, I tell you what, guys, she's going all in, she's all in and she's wow. going to see this thing all the way through to the end. And then Warren Peterson's always been kind of fighting, always been like that, you know, so Wow. So it definitely, so, it definitely, it definitely helped the relationship because I think we exposed some things and uh, opened our eyes to a few things from a different perspective that um, made them comfortable with our relationship, you know, as far as um, talking about stuff. So teaching the truth to the government, you have done it personally. Now, I don't know a lot of attorneys that's going one on one to the people, finding out what they desire and then giving notice to the government to let them know what it is that they're going to do for us, period. And then coming back and giving us evidence or proof of that. <clears throat> now you've done it. You're not an attorney, but so you can actually give us comfort in knowing that the senators and house of representative members that you talk to have been very good with you and shown strength and resilience and that they're going to fight this thing out and they're there for the people. Oh, there's no doubt. Like I said, um, the people, you know, whether they, they want to admit it or not, I don't care either way. Like I said, my end goal was to get this forensic audit. And, and, and they could say that it had nothing to do with it or not. I don't really care. All I know is, like I said in my speech Saturday, all I know is Maricopa has a forensic audit. 
and Maricopa is the only ones that we handle them affidavits and notices. So, yeah. you know, it is what it is at this point. People, I'm not here to argue with, with people on our side or the other side. It doesn't matter. I'm not here to argue with you to prove anything to you. I don't have to prove a damn thing to you. All I know is I can put one together with the other, and we're going to see what happens in Georgia. Wait, something did happen in Georgia. <laughs> Man, uh, what happened in Georgia? And let's see what happens in Michigan. Because those, for me, like our involvement with Georgia and, and Michigan now, let's see what happens. Because there's a lot of coincidences. Like we put out, we hit uh, affidavits, and we sent out a thousand notices, thousands. I think she has thousands of notices in Georgia. So, and then all of a sudden, Patrick Byrne puts out, now they had a little court case they won, right? Um, they had a court case they won with some BS... We're going to look at 147,000 absentee ballots, right? Which is better than nothing, right? In a, in, a, in, a, in a court of law. But they're going to use their machines and their stuff. But Javon will be looking at the actual ballot images. Oh, so Javon is involved again? Yeah. So Wait, 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 wait. Hold on. Hold on. Hold on, player. Hold, hold on, Josh. Hold on. I know you wait. caught that. Josh, didn't you put in notices to our legislature even when they didn't want to deal with Jovan in some cases that they were going to do it anyway? Nobody wanted to touch Jovan because he was too controversial. Okay. And afraid the media was going to come down, you know, go down their throats. And I said, I don't care. I don't care what the media says. I don't give a damn what they think. And why do you care what they think? They're going to trash you no matter who you pick. And you put it in writing in a notice, right? Yes. And and they picked him anyway, right? He is uh, consulting. Wait, so everybody who you wanted to be in the audit in your notice is in the no is in the audit. Yeah, Colonel Walden is consulting and Javon Poltz are consulting. They're the two I trust uh the most with this with the entire audit as far as the um who the, the, the team to pick, right? The the actual um companies that were hired were put together. It's like because there's a lot of um individual um uh companies that came in that spec you know specifically do certain things. And uh, so you have like Cypher, you have Cyber Ninjas, you got other two other companies, I forget the names offhand, um, that are involved with the forensic audit here that that are that dive in and do specific things. Now, you, you just hit me with something that I did not know. So I know that um, Candace Taylor put in her affidavit, mm -hmm. which me and you got to be part of, um, you got with Behizzi and then a very powerful like one of the nation's top lawyers yeah. got with her and told her to go find the people in Arizona who helped with the slaughter. Yeah. And then Behizzi connected you guys. Then you got with her. You got me involved just like every other situation, right? That I've been involved in. You opened the door. It wasn't me, but you just said something that hit me hard as heck. Cause I didn't know this. And I know a lot of stuff happens. We don't get the chance to talk all the time, but that just blew my mind. Didn't Candace Taylor in her um, affidavit say that she wanted Jovan too? Specifically at the end of her affidavit, it says she wants Jovan Pulitzer and Colonel Walden and or Colonel Walden or both. Specifically. Now, I you mean, just told me something I didn't know. So my viewers are seeing this for the first time because I couldn't tell because I didn't know. Did you just say Colonel Walden is going to be possibly, I mean, um, Jovan is going to be looking at something or something in this slotted? Now, jo Javon's going to be looking at the. Um, uh, forgive me for thinking of his name. What? Who's Who's the uh, the guy that won the? Um, Fabrito or Garland? Fab yeah, whatever his name is. And I it's, it's it's an odd name, so I get it mixed up. But he won this court case, and the court case was to have one hundred forty seven thousand ballots look uh, absentee ballots looked at to be scanned at whatever whatever DPI or whatever it is they look at, right? And Javon is going to be the one that actually. Um, one of the people that actually looks at these ballots and checks them out. Yes, Garland Fe Favorito. Thank, thank you. you. Who is that? Uh, thank you so much, Face of America, for giving us, us that information. We were not trying to be disrespectful. By no, when I, when I hear Garland, I think of Garland Shreves, my buddy that ran for state senate. So I always get yeah. the names mixed up. So yeah, I know you. I know you did. I just wanted to let them know so nobody says, "Oh, go back and says <laughs> David yeah. Jose and Josh said we, something we wrong." Always, one thing about us, we always give props where it's due. You know what I mean? Amen. That's what my props, dad always said. Yeah. I don't take credit for anything that I didn't do ever. Give, give somebody their props, right? That ain't exactly how my dad says it, but that's how he's. Yeah, I know. <laughs> <laughs> that's what he says. 
right? So Josh Barnett just gave some information, y'all, bombshell, mind-blowing information that Jovan will be helping. And it's funny, if they didn't do that, they would be going against the remedy that um, dear Candace Taylor, the bombshell powerhouse out of Georgia put in her affidavit. So you got to realize the courts don't want to do what we want them to do. But when they see that we're taking all the power from them, they when we did it to Maricopa County, they didn't know what we were doing yet. So we were going to the legislature and excluding the court and giving them affidavits that said the court cannot interfere. Yeah. So we blocked the courts from being involved. We didn't do that with Candace. What we did was is work together to create affidavits that would tell them what we wanted them to do, which if we tell the legislature what to do and we block the court, then what would have happened was is the legislature would be forced and the court would have no say so. So y'all got to understand the courts in every state are realizing that we are ordering the legislature what to do and we can totally remove the power of the bar. The bar wants to be able to have power and significance. Well, that, that's we the thing, too. You're 100% right. Because, sorry, I didn't mean to cut you off. Oh, no, go ahead. It just, it just popped in my head. So what happened here, as you know, the, the Democrats were suing every chance they possibly could about everything, right? Or the American Board of Supervisors, the county was suing to stop this from happening. And uh, so you have a Republican dominant, four out of five Republican dominant Maricopa Board of Supervisors suing to stop the forensic audit. That, that's what went on here, people. That's why I keep telling you it's a uniparty. You know, and you, and we can keep saying Republican, Democrat, we're taking sides. It's really, right now, it's, it's conservative patriots versus evil. <laughs> you know, that's what it is right now. And, and um, you know, because it's Republicans that are complicit here as well, Maricopa, with what happened here. Now, it's just, they kind of forced the legislature, even though I, I feel they should have just kept it completely separate because they had no right. The courts have no right to interfere with the Senate investigation, period. And the wait, wait, let me ask you that. Have you ever taught that to the people or um, given notice or anything like that? Yes, yes I did. And I, and I told it straight to them in person many times and i put it on twitter i put it everywhere i cited it you know there's a there's a as you get the separation of powers the courts the judicial branch cannot interfere with the senate investigation i mean i'll simplify it wow. and, and and the fact that that um that they still went with the you know went through the system and everything else luckily for us we had a judge who's a democrat that did the right thing and said no i'm not going to pause or stop this forensic audit from happening did he start quoting the constitution um, I don't recall if he did or not. Do you remember? He talked again? about sec Article Four. <laughs> oh, he did Article Four, Section Four. No, he started quoting Article Four of the Arizona Constitution about Arizona elections, Constitution. and yeah. he shut them down. Now, do you remember that we actually came together with notice for the judge too? Yes. So the judge got put on notice. Why? Why everything was in the you know in the mix? Like what's going to happen? We went after the judge, right? Dropping knowledge on him. And then he started quoting the Constitution. So you got to wonder, why is it that all these weird anomalies or crazy coincidences keep happening when we keep hitting people with stuff? You know what? It's kind of like this. It's kind of like if I'm a cop and I know this diamond thief is going to go rob Kay's Jewelers. And I know and, and I let the robber know, hey, I know you're going to rob Kay's Jewelers at midnight on Friday. They're probably not going to show up. And Rob Case Brewers. Yeah. If I'm letting you know ahead of time, I know what you're doing. That's kind of how I look at this. We're putting you on notice. We're telling you, we know what you're doing. We know what you're trying to do. Here's why you can't do this. Here's why in the Constitution, you cannot do this. And we're not going to allow it to happen any longer. We're letting yep. you know ahead of time. That's what these notices do. You're not going to steal our diamonds and get away with go. them. There you go. That's brilliant. So, We've seen a lot of good things happen. We've seen a lot of people's lives change by the work you have been doing. And I got to say, like, you allow me to be part of things when it comes to what we're going to use with the Constitution. But really, you're doing the work. You're the one who's standing up with courage. And you have went out there and put these notices and affidavits out first in every situation. Right. Yeah. You put your behind on the line first and then you have shown people. Um, how to do it. And I think that's very powerful because um, nobody 
was doing that before. So when you did it, it gave people something, excuse me, <coughs> something that they, sorry, coffee, something that they can actually physically do to yeah. take action and give them strength and power back. You also did it first, which means you led by example. And the people who started to follow started to realize, holy crap, we're getting a lot of results really fast. Well, you know? I, I get frustrated when I hear people say there's no remedy, this the affidavits don't work. When I've done it myself, my gym is open. It's been open the entire time outside of like two weeks before we figured it out, before you call me, hey, I got an idea, <laughs> you know, and, and I reopened my gym at midnight. I literally opened it at midnight. I put it all over social media. Hey, members, 24-7 access as of midnight. Have fun. You don't have to wear a mask if you don't want to. And, and, and so don't tell me it doesn't work. When there's 110-plus gyms in this country that were open during this pandemic in a Democrat-run state like New Jersey, California. So, That's right. You know, That's for right. anybody to tell me that this doesn't work, well, oh, Josh, but that doesn't work on the elections. <laughs> you know, Okay. <sighs> Well, it's like, an affidavit, and listen, an affidavit is an affidavit. Two yeah. years ago, people told me that God couldn't help you in court. And David, this stuff you're doing with affidavits and notices, it'll never happen. Nobody will ever give kids back. No judges will ever listen to you. It's a big waste of time. You're giving people false hope. And the funny thing is, now we got so many kids back that they say, well, David, you didn't get yours back yet. They're smart enough to say yet because they know... <laughs> They know what's coming. You can laugh now and I'll clap with you. Yay, you made a funny. <laughs> but when they told us people wouldn't get their kids back, people got their kids back. When they told us gyms couldn't open and it wouldn't work. Remember all those people were telling you that? Ha <laughs> ha, Josh, you think y'all gonna be able to open up gyms? The government got guns. They just gonna come and kick you out. Yeah. You know what? You know, people do the same thing to me in a, in a less, a less me, I guess, Maybe the same kind of mean intent behind it, but less mean because of, of what it what it's referring to. But when people say that about you and your kids, that pisses me off like no other. Like the nerve of somebody to say something like that, like just shows what a piece of shit they are. I'm sorry, that's just what it is. And 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 for me, you know, people would say, "Oh, Josh, you got your ass handed to you by Gallego." Well, yeah, I ran on an 80-20 Democrat district, you dummy. It takes more than one election. To, to bust through a, a district like that, okay? <coughs> but I also got the most Republican votes in history in that district by 12,000. So something's working, something's moving. People are starting to pay attention. My, my message has never, the Republican me or conservative, not Republican, conservative message has never been heard mm -hmm. in this district before until now. Nobody's even run in this election in three elections. I was the first Republican to run. So Let me, let me ask you something, Josh. Because because this is the funny thing I see about you and everything. And I don't mean to cut you off, but I see this and I want the crowd to see this because we don't have a lot of real leaders like that'll do stuff first. So I know that you do a lot of crazy stuff. Look, somebody said Josh is powerful, even if he didn't have giant arms. Josh, you like this. Let me move this off the screen. Do like this. Look at that, y'all. I got a. You know me, I'm gonna hit the gym. I got I'm guys, I'm I'm way below what I normally am right now. So <laughs> I've been slacking for a year and a half, man. This the stress and cortisol from this damn election stuff. <laughs> yeah, this is the thing I'm telling y'all. Josh is about results. So yes. he don't look like that from just sitting on his butt and not trying. And people will attack someone who's a revolutionary. When somebody says, I want to be this big. Josh doesn't say it's going to hurt. What if, see, this is what people do with affidavits. What if they don't answer? Josh is like the big black dude. Uh, what's his name? Fletcher. Oh yeah. <laughs> Josh be in the gym talking to his arm like this. Grow. I said, <laughs> grow. You listen to me. And his arm just grows, right? You got a lot of people who live and their arm don't grow like that. But Josh tells his arm. You better grow, and that mud grows, right, Josh? That's called the mind muscle connection. I don't yell at my arm, but I thank you. <laughs> <laughs> thank you in advance for growing, yeah. arm. <laughs> right? So, and, and and I said with everything though, like let's look at um, the events, like the We the People events. If you weren't running and you weren't around, there would be no such thing as We the People. Probably if there not. was no such thing as we the people, there wouldn't be events with Ken Hovine there the other day and exactly. Anna Kate 
and uh, all these powerhouses from around the nation, they come where people take action. And what I see in you, Josh, is, is that you're really humble. You don't talk a whole lot about everything that you do, but you're taking action in so many different places that I'm happy I get to see it. And I still get to see you go with your son Bentley and, and, and watch him play basketball. So you're not just a man who is kicking butt in building your body, you know, um, running a business and supporting your, your wife who also works out and trains people. You're opening the doors for many other trainers to be able to train their clients and have a life. You've opened up all these gyms around the freaking nation because you decided to, because I would have never done it. You're like, Dave, uh, I want to save the nation. I'm like, uh, what this mean, Josh? <laughs> Josh, what are you about to force me to do now? Right? You're like, thanks, thanks for no sleep for three months. <laughs> like, Josh, I ain't slept in forever. You're like, oh, well, here's how you fix this. Do, fix your cortisol. <laughs> right? So you've given me solutions, but you fought all around the nation and you've helped people to grow when they were afraid. Because I got to witness a lot of the people who opened up their entities. Everybody share this video, please. All these people who opened up their entities and helped their people who work there to have a living still, you've changed thousands of lives just by open up 100 gyms. You open up 100 plus gyms, all of them have owners, all of them have connected employees, all of them have trainers, all of the people who come there, all of the people's kids who come there, who, who, who need their parents to be able to function and to be able to have confidence in the middle of a hard time. Go ahead. No, I, I just, I was just thinking it's, it's funny because you have people that, not that they doubt, but people that are like literally hating, right? Hating, hating on you. And, and I always tell them, you know, especially the election or something like, oh, well, you lost the election, this and that. And I go, yeah, but you know what? It put me in a position to do more for the people than Ruben Geiger has ever done. Oh yeah. Ever. And that, what has I say that too. And I've never seen a politician do as much. Like I have seen people in Arizona begging politicians to do something about the mandates. I physically seen you open up entities and do something about the mandates. Like and Ruben, Ruben Gallego was telling people was literally fighting to shut people down. You know, wow. to shut businesses down and put your mask on. The guy's a joke. And and, and and the fact that anybody can't open their eyes to what's happening at this point, I don't know what to tell you. Maybe you're just you're just a lost cause at this point. But it's, it's you know, crazy, like man. I tell people. Hey, you can say all you want about I, I lost this or that, but you know what? I got to help thou literally thousands of people because people work at these gyms too. Trainers work at these gyms. They have employees. They have stuff, um, you know, and, and so you we were able to help thousands of people um, keep their jobs and keep their, their livelihoods. And, and the fact that anybody would sit there and try to discredit anything I do, I, I, it's kind of funny. But you also had these, these brilliant business attorneys all over the country and if they're so damn smart, how many businesses did, did they keep open and save? Not many. <laughs> I can't think of one. You know, maybe I'm wrong. I can't think of one. So if they're so smart and they know the Constitution so well, why didn't they do what we did? Well, you know what, Josh? This person, Michael Hilsebeck, yeah. he said, Dave, you need to put us people back to work and start attacking different state states' points, uh, points in the direction. So, Josh... You've been part of everything, and I don't really do much um, when it comes to this type of stuff unless you want to do it. Um, so, would you be willing? I'm down. Let's do it. You want to do it? So, to I don't help even have the to people hear anymore. Let's do it. Because All right. if it's going to help the people, we need to jump down their throats right now. Because if we allow this, whatever's happening, allow it to happen any longer, it's never going to stop. It's only going to get worse. And, and, and for me, like for me, it's the bar association is a major problem. So, Michael, that answers your question. So, I guess Josh and I will get together. Yeah. Um, Michael, who are you thinking about, there. though, Michael? What are you thinking about specifically? That's what I like to know because there's so many different directions we can go with this. But for me, um, the, the judicial system, the broken <laughs> judicial system, I see it, but it's because of the bar most of the time, it seems like. Infiltrating. That, that needs to be reined in because I, I feel we should have due process. I don't feel a license should be taken away from somebody without due process. Mm hmm. You know, that, that would take the power away from the bar, a private entity, take it away from them and let the people decide if that lawyer did something so bad to have that license taken away or not. Not them, because they're weaponizing it against attorneys that are actually fighting. For so the you, want, you want to bring that smoke to the attorneys this week? I think we have to. I don't think we have a choice. They All forced right. us to do this. It's their fault. 
Y'all heard it from Josh Barnett. This week we go after the attorneys. That smoke. Ivan, please remind us we about to bring that freaking fire to the bar attorneys. And uh, Michael, we're going to put something together to open up for everybody to be able to do business together in the private so we'll move everything from the public to the private so everybody can use each other's services and no government official can shut us down. Y'all heard Josh say it. We're going to do it. Now, I want to go hey, to I'm, something. I'm sorry I come off, if I come off sounding angry, because I am. <laughs> so, <laughs> so I, I mean, I, I don't mean, I'm not an angry person. Dave, you know me. I'm not an angry person. But when I see the type of corruption, it just, it just absolutely disgusts me what I see happening right now. Uh, from from the from the from the fraud with COVID, from the fraud with the bar, I mean, from what's happening with the election, mm -hmm. they're literally stealing our country away from us, and it does anger me. And I'm absolutely, I'm not going to let it happen. It's not going to happen, people. And we got tens of millions of us out there, just like me and you, that can fight and fight back properly, and legally, constitutionally, and we can win this. That's right. But y'all gotta you all gotta spread the message to your friends and neighbors and, and family and everybody else. This is how we fight back. This is one way we can fight back, I should say, not the only way. But oh, it's Josh, one way we can fight this. back. We don't we don't like what they did to Lynn Wood, Giuliani, no. Sidney Powell, Absolutely. um, our dear friend over in Michigan, DePerno. DePerno. We're really not down with that, are we? Absolutely not. And and that, that's those those are the specific examples, and I know it's happened to people we don't even know about. You know, maybe it happened to Corey Longhoffer here. Who knows? They might have threatened him too. You know, th this is this has gone on way too long. We we've let it get out of control, much like CPS. We let it get out of control, and it's time it's time to hit the brakes and put an end to it, and and and, and take back control to the people. Like I've been screaming for a year and a half now. A lot of this stuff can be fixed with just due process. So so, do we all agree we gonna bring some smoke against this attorney bull? I'm down. What about you, Josh? I'm in. <laughs> Anybody else want to let these attorneys? Look, me and Josh can tell y'all what's going to happen already. Y'all going to see a lot of judges start trying to be fair now. Because we the people are going to let them know you freaking messing around with Lynn Wood. You're messing around with Sidney Powell. Both of them only wanted to fight for the people. It ain't got a dang thing to do with Trump. Lynn Wood is fighting the way that he's fighting for the people. Patrick Byrne didn't even vote for Trump. He's a freaking libertarian. These people do Breaky, Breaky, the Democrat. He's a he's a he's a progressive Democrat, and he's fighting for election integrity with the state senate. This isn't about a party. It's not about Trump. Although for me it is, <laughs> but mm -hmm. but you know in, in in the grand scheme of things, it's not about just Trump. It's about the people's voices being heard. Our votes actually counted for who we voted for. When you've been fraud fighting, has been going on too long and it needs to stop. It needs to stop now. <clears throat> That's what I was going to say. You've been fighting for the people, and I'm a witness to that. I get to see a lot of things other people can't see, and that's why sometimes I interrupt and slow you down because the people in the comments and the people who are watching us is like 446 people right now. Oh, as a matter of fact, everybody please go subscribe to Josh Barnett. He put up a video, and they literally took like two days to let it clear. It finally got in, right? Yeah, that's like crazy. Like, how do you not let it clear for two days? And then I try to look up Josh and I can't find him. So if somebody has a link to Josh's page, please put it up. It's not Josh Barnett, the wrestler. So please don't go get it. If you're a troll, don't try to I'm, fake I'm people not, I'm not the UFC fighter. Yeah, UFC fighter. I'm sorry. Although so, I have met him. There you go. <laughs> like Josh know everybody. Connected with everybody. But... um. And that's another funny thing, guys, too, I want to tell y'all that I noticed about Josh. There's a lot of people who have connections that don't let you connect with their connections and or use their connections. And I've seen Josh Barnett treat famous people like they're just your next door neighbor. Josh don't get googly eyed and fall in love. He goes to them and lets them know, look, this is what the people need. This is what we need to do. It's about the people. Let's go. Are you down or not? Even to the point. That the other night, Josh called me two nights in a row, and it was super late, like what, 10, 11 o'clock at night? We didn't leave for like one in the morning now. <laughs> yeah. And uh, Josh Barnett let me connect with a very high-level person who worked directly with President Trump, that if I said their name, all of you would know who it is. And uh, this person was just blown away by the information and knowledge that was put out there, just showing 
the state constitutions and his rights that he didn't know he had. And this dude is brilliant. Yeah, he's a brilliant guy. He really is. He's sharp. Yeah. So he's been punished by unlawful things. Yes. And uh, he got a chance to hear. And Josh got a chance, I believe, to talk to him again the next day. Um, the second day, I didn't really talk and to him. And he came up to me. And I told you what he said. He literally came up to me to tell you. Because I, I, I know he was very interested. You know what I mean? Oh, the- gotcha, gotcha. You know? Yeah. See, that's huge because many of us are having issues with things that the attorneys have not given the information to the government officials. Therefore, they suffer unnecessarily. The same thing that happens to us. But how many people want to see that freaking smoke? Josh Barnett just told y'all that Sidney Powell, Giuliani, and them got orders directly from us. Now, hey, what's up? some people might want to act like it's not true. Some people might want to fight the obvious truth. But what we're going to do is we're going to take y'all to an article that I've never seen before. I just seen it today. <clears throat> and we're going to show you how they tried to stop Trump from saving the nation. And I'm going to show y'all that we gave Trump yes. orders and yes. Trump did not follow him. And just like I told y'all, Sidney Powell was mad at Trump because she he didn't follow the orders that we gave her. I told you what was in the orders. I told you about his executive order 13848 and Article 4, Section 4 of the Constitution. So I told you guys, General Flynn got that document. And I told you guys that at the same time, Sidney Powell got that document. So what I'm going to do, hey, Josh, push mute so they don't echo. Oh, sorry. I'm sorry. You're good. So I'm going to show you guys what really happened. And all the attorneys out there talking about remedy ain't going to tell you this, but I'm going to show you because I'm not about what I can say. I'm about what the freak I can prove. So let's look at this. Let me know if y'all can see it. (coughs) Who can see this? Let me know if y'all can see it. Y'all see where it says at the top conspiracy theory? Let me know if y'all can see it. See this right here? Conspiracy theorist. Watch this, y'all. Conspiracy theorist lawyer, Sidney Powell. Now, the funny thing is she wasn't a conspiracy theorist when she was working to put people in prison for the United States. So this is the Guardian, right? Conspiracy theorist. And we're not worried about them calling her a conspiracy theorist. We're worried about the truth getting out. Conspiracy theorist lawyer Sidney Powell spotted again at White House. Now, I told y'all she went to the White House to show the affidavit orders that we gave to President Trump along with General Flynn. Patrick Byrne independently told y'all that there was a meeting over this and he thought he was going to have to fight. He thought he was going to have to fight because how bad the attorneys in the White House were going after Sidney Powell and General Flynn. So watch how powerful this is, guys. Powell reportedly pitched a plan to seize voting machines. Now, guys, didn't I tell y'all that we put together an order and a plan for Trump to use the law to take machines based on his own executive order and Article 4, Section 4 of the Constitution, which did not take for the uh, Insurrection Act to be signed? Trump already had a duty to do this under the law. Now, it's going to get even better. Powell reportedly pitched plan to seize voting machines after Friday meeting at which Trump weighed in uh, Wade's special counsel role. Right? Now, watch this. The lawyer and conspiracy theory, Sidney Powell, was back at the White House on Sunday night. So I showed y'all a text message from... Um, Stacey Burke to Sidney Powell, where her and General Flynn got the affidavits, asked for another affidavit because they knew it took two witnesses to make um, to make a claim for treason. So the affidavits were the reason he didn't is because the attorneys told him not to. But I'm not going to just tell you all that like I did before. I'm going to prove it to you that the attorneys in the White House, just like I told y'all, 
interfered with Trump's ability to follow what we showed him in the law. Watch this. Reportedly to pitch Donald Trump on a planned seizing voting machine as the U.S. president continues to dispute the November election, which they say he lost. Trump refuses to concede, right? Democrats lead a popular vote by more than 7 million ballots. Over the weekend, Trump tweeted encouragement to Republicans report, reported to be considering challenges to the Electoral College results when they came before Congress on the 6th, right? Nonetheless, now, tell me, y'all, if Dave Jose is a liar. I told y'all that there was attorneys in the meeting. How did I know there was attorneys in the meeting? Because one of Patrick Burns' friends was messaging me and Josh Barnett, who happens to be a reporter, overseas. So the overseas reporter was telling us real time what was happening in the meeting. And we knew that he had credibility because we knew about the meeting from the person who helped us send affidavits in Arizona. So we sent the affidavits from Arizona. Only me, Josh, and the other person had knowledge of what was happening. So the rest of the nation was saying, David, your affidavits don't work. That stuff will never do anything for anybody. So they didn't know that Josh Barnett and I had sent out these notices and affidavits to Trump and orders to Trump. General Flynn responded back and said, this is the precipice of history. Precipice is a word in the common law that means orders to a government official to carry out an act under the common law. So when you talk about real remedy, Show me one attorney in the whole nation who gave orders to Trump to go get the machines, except for Sidney Powell. Mm -hmm. Show me one. Sidney Powell, Powell got the notices and affidavits from me, Josh Barnett, and Stacey. So I'm not telling you what I think. I'm telling you what I know. Now, I'm going to prove to you that the attorneys inside of the White House, just like the attorneys on YouTube now, the attorneys on YouTube feel like they got to check what I do and what Josh Barnett does because he was part of it. They feel like we got to show them we have remedy. They feel like they got we got to prove to them that we did something and that it works and all this stuff just not happening by mistake. We got to prove that it wasn't just the government who did it. Well, let me prove to y'all. Watch this. Nonetheless, aides to the president speaking anonymously of Remember course. I told y'all they leaked it from the White House and I believed it was Trump's attorneys? Well, the dang article tells you that the aides to the president spoke anonymously, have told reporters they are concerned about Trump's behavior as Inauguration Day 20 January draws near. See, the attorneys in the White House lied to Trump and tricked him and almost had a fight with Sidney Powell and freaking Patrick Byrne and General Flynn because they were attacking so hard. Because the attorneys knew very well what the freak we dropped in Trump's lap. And they knew that it had nothing to do with the Insurrection Act. Therefore, the legislature had no control over it. And Trump could take the freaking machines by right and order of the people under the common law. So people will act like, uh, uh, as attorneys, don't trust Dave Jose. We got to challenge what he says. It's okay for you to challenge, but show us what the freak you're doing too. Because I can show you where our stuff is in the White House, but can you show us where you're in the White House? You can't. And Sidney Powell, was the, she was the only attorney that was saying this to him. <laughs> That's right. <clears throat> so why are they attacking Sidney Powell? This article just told you. Watch this. Powell was cut cut from Trump's campaign team after spouting wild conspiracy theories, but continues to advance the president's cause. On Sunday night, she denied meeting the president and said it was none of your business why she was at the executive mansion. Sounds like Sidney Powell was standing for the freaking people because Sidney Powell was coming with affidavits from Josh Barnett, Stacey, and David Jose knocking down the fraud against the people. The people had orders going to Trump to tell Trump exactly what to do. And this is why Sidney Powell was pissed at Trump because she said he had a chance to fix this and get the machines and he dropped the ball. That's what she said. So 
People can say what doesn't work, what doesn't have teeth, what doesn't have bite. But I'm showing y'all what really happened in real life when other people don't know. And also notice that the fake news never brings up Patrick Byrne being at that meeting. And, and Patrick, we know he was he there. He was right there. Shoulder and he to told y'all. Uh -huh. Patrick Byrne told y'all he was there. Yep. Now watch this. It's going to get deeper. But she was among attendees at Friday's meeting at the White House at which Trump proposed naming her a special counsel to investigate alleged selectoral frizzard and flirted with the pardon formal national secretary I mean, security advisor Michael Flynn's suggestion that the army might be used to rerun votes. Guys, ain't it funny that we told y'all Mike Flynn was there and about to fight with these people and we're telling you what's happening? And we told y'all that Mark Meadows was there and Pat Cipollone? Watch this. Trump attorney Rudy Giuliani was reported to have poo-pooed the special counsel and uh, martial law plans. Now look at this lie. Remember I told y'all they lied and said they were going to use martial law? Article 4, Section 4 has nothing to do with martial law. Exactly. And 13848 has nothing to do with martial law. So the, the White House attorneys tried to trick y'all by using the Insurrection Act, as I told y'all we didn't need to use. I purposely didn't put the Insurrection Act in there because the Insurrection Act came from the legislature. Article 4, Section 4 came from the people. Who has the highest right and power? The people. The legislature is our servants. We don't need their act to order Trump to do something. Y'all see this? Let's get better. Let's go deeper. But as to have asked about seizing voting machines, all ideas not down. See, they said they were, the White House aides were anonymous at first. But now look what they say. All ideas knocked down by the chief of staff, Mark Meadows, and the White House counsel, Pat Cipollone. Didn't I tell y'all that the attorneys in there knocked it down and I specifically named Mark Meadows and some Cipollone guy? I didn't know his first name was Matt. So let who me, the let freak me tell is you lying? something real quick what happened uh, straight from Sydney and Patrick in person to me. Uh-huh. Oh, wait, wait. Hold on. Let me turn this off. Are y'all seeing what happened so far? So we see what Sydney Powell said. We see that uh, Trump had an opportunity to take the machines. We gave him orders under the common law. And now Josh is going to explain some more stuff that I don't know freaking about. So <laughs> I'm going to let him talk. So this Cindy, is more important than Cindy, article. Yeah, Sydney told us that. Um, so wait, this is Sydney personally speaking? Yeah. To you you guys yeah. or some people? And, and, and it's been verified by Patrick as well. Okay. So Sydney, yeah, me, um, I think Steve Shelby, Eric was there as well. But um, Eric Renuk, yes. Okay. And um, she said that they um, that Trump asked, "Can I appoint Sydney as my special prosecutor for this for the election stuff?" And do I do I need anything written to do that, or can it can I be a verbal order for that to happen and it be legally standing? And he was told, "Yes, you can." So he said. You're my special prosecutor for elections. Right there on the spot. Any open because he got pissed. He was mad. So Sydney came back the next day. Now this is verified by Patrick. I haven't talked to General Flynn about it, but um, he will be out here in Phoenix for something for me out here in July. I, I'm not gonna say when or where, but he will be here. So if y'all want to meet General Flynn, uh, Amer a true American patriot, keep, can I meet him? Stuff. Yes, for sure. Um so anyway, so Cindy comes to the White House and I say to report for work, right? She's ready to get rolling. She's stopped. She has her pass, the whole deal. She's stopped by one of the um, the gatekeepers, you know what I mean? And is like, sorry, uh, you're on a list here. You can't come in. Well, who put you on the list? Mark Meadows. Wow. So my question is, wow. why, why did Mark Meadows stop Sidney Powell based off the orders from the president to head up the special counsel to look into this election fraud and the Dominion machines and everything that was asked, you know, by the president to do, because I always thought Mark Meadows was a good guy. Now I would love to hear his side of the story based off what I know <coughs> from Sidney and Patrick and hopefully from Jenna Flynn personally, when we get to meet him, because I think that's a, that's something that needs to be known. He, he needs to uh, explain himself 
because when you have the president, when you're going to get the president's orders behind his back in a way, then Ooh. that's a big problem. Ooh. Now, this is the kind of crap that's been going on the entire time he's in the White House, though. He's an attorney, right? I believe Meadows is, yes. Yeah. So. Wow. That, that's what happened. <clears throat> so Sydney couldn't come in. She couldn't report to work. Now, I don't know what happened after Wait, that. so she was the now White House special counsel in writing. Now, I mean, in word. Now, guys, remember, I tell y'all, and, and the attorneys get mad at me for saying this, put everything in affidavit form or sworn testimony or notice where it's written so nobody can say it didn't happen. Now, Josh just said something deep. Josh just said that he was made White House counsel by word she was but it wasn't on paper. So if we wanted to prosecute them, how do we know he really did it if nobody's audio taping and there's no record? You see how dirty these attorneys are? They do the same thing in CPS court. They bring you into a private court. They have people saying things about you. Nobody's swearing under penalty of perjury. They're not going to jail, right? So somebody tell me, how, how are the attorneys really helping us if they're fighting against the work of the people, this is my only issue. Why are these people attacking us so hard for what we do when they don't want to do anything and they want to block us? I was now, just Josh, please at, go I was on. Just looking at Mark Meadows, I don't think he's an attorney, but it's okay. irrelevant because Cipollone and all these other people are in there telling him he can't do this. You can't do this. Gotcha. And, then, and then General Flynn is like, yes, you can. Now, listen, yeah. one other thing, too, with that meeting. Sydney had a, had a piece of paper there. They had, they had the orders on it, okay? You sign this, it's game on. He didn't sign it. Wow. Holy moly. I didn't so, know about that either. But, but hey, wait, let me tell y'all something else real quick, and I'll let you keep going, Josh. Yeah. Guys, realize we're on with Josh Barnett, who ran for Congress, who I believe has done more than any public official I've ever seen in my dang life, um, not even being elected. But Josh Barnett just told us something that, once again, I didn't know. And let me tell y'all something. I respect this because Josh Barnett has information that is not, it's on a need-to-know basis. So he's never taught me this before. I just find out when you guys find out. But I respect that because our work is safe and can and go the way that it needs to because Josh doesn't put out everything, loose lips, sink ships. So he puts it out when it's necessary. He puts it out when it's time for the people to get moving, but he's not just blurting everything out all over the place all the time. Yeah. I've been able to trust him with very important things that we're doing. So I just wanted y'all to know that. Keep going, Josh. Yeah. I'm sorry. No, no, you're fine. Um, so Sydney, you know, Sydney told this to a small group of people at a get together here in Phoenix. Now I've heard, I've read and heard things, but you don't, I never heard it from a horse's mouth, right? So I don't really trust anything if I ain't heard it directly from them. <coughs> mm -hmm. So Sydney told this small gathering of people exactly what happened at that meeting that night. Patrick did the same right there on the spot. Now, I've heard Patrick speak. If you guys know anything about We the People AZ or We the People USA Alliance, we, we communicate with Patrick quite a bit and with, with Mike Lindell, but with Patrick in particular right now. And I've heard him speak many times. I've heard him talk about stuff. And this has been... This story has never changed. It's never wavered. Now, I've also talked to other congressmen that were in the mix as well. And what people are like, why didn't President Trump sign this? Sydney's like, I don't know. I think I have an idea. I think she has an idea, but we can't concrete, you know, concretely say that this or this happened. I feel, I feel, you know, he was um Bye. I feel he was uh, you know, threatened maybe something and not to be threatened like maybe for his his life or his family or anything like that i think it could have been a threat to what what are you going to do to this country you're going to cause a civil war people are going to die because of you if you do this and i think that's a, i can see that scaring the president more than actually his own life to be honest with you i can see him looking at that like i don't want this to happen to any to any americans i'd rather take the fall for it let the american people fight for me like we're doing and getting back in office let us do the work for him. And I'm fine with that. But unfortunately, due to that, we have to go through this process that we've been going through and watching this Biden administration destroy our country. Um, but, you know, I, I feel that, you know, President Trump fought for us for four years. The guy didn't sleep. 
day in, day out, attacked like no other, attacked unbelievably by just uh, 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 – I'm not, I, I don't want to cuss. So, so <laughs> you know, attacked by, by a media that is just hateful and evil. And, um, and for him to go through that and his family to go through that and threaten to throw his kids in jail and everything else, right? Then we can freaking work for him and fight for him for once. So don't tell me you're tired and you're, you know, whining. I don't want to hear your, I don't want to hear that nonsense. I don't want to hear it. Get and your pro- butt up and fight for him because he fought for you for four years. And because of him, it wasn't for COVID. We were in the best position we've ever been in as, as a country in a long, long time. And that's just a fact. So truthfully, you know, we're fighting a battle for the for the for the people to not lose everything they have. And by default, since we know that there was some cheating and some garbage, yeah. um Trump will be blessed in the process because. There was some wrong that was done, and we know it. Uh, now, we don't have to prove wrong to put him back. The people right now are already upset because of all of the maladministration that's happening under Snyzden. And we're tired of it. The people who even voted for him are tired of him already. People have voted for him and lost jobs already. So it's about time that we stand up and do what's necessary to save the nation, to protect our children. And if we see that the government is out of line, the constitutions of the state says that we can remove them lawfully as the majority and put them back. Well, the funny thing is people say, well, how attorneys, well, how exactly does that look? And are you going to do it? Well, all we got to do is have the majority. Well, just look at a rally. We already have the majority. I don't, I don't know why people can fake on the news like somebody else won who never even went out to try to get people to BOTE for him. Yeah, don't but, believe that false narrative. That's a false narrative they're putting out. We we are the majority, people. Yep. We are and the see, majority. Don't believe we that. We can return the nation back to how it needs to be. We can reform the Constitution. We can do all the things we need to do um, simply by right. And anybody who tries to block that right is the one committing treason or breaking the law. Because it says we have an inherent, exclusive, sole right to reform our government or regulate our government to change the Constitution at will as long as we leave it as a republic. So we don't have to wait a million years to prove some frizz off. We don't, we don't, yeah, no cash needed. We don't need all that junk. We can come together as a people and write affidavits. And the, we can say the people with the most affidavits signed by people who are alive with notaries are the one is the one who will be put in office and the other one got to go. That simple. We could say no more bar attorneys in our courts. Change all our constitutions. Done. One day. The thing is, is that we got to get the numbers together and tell the people so they are aware. We have to make sure they have places to reach us. This is why some people, somebody came on me yesterday. They're like, Dave, why do you use a program called Online Sales Pro? Because before I was freaking doing this, I was a money-making monster who was online as a freaking sales pro. (laughs) That's why. And when I wanted to take people's names, phone numbers, and emails down so I can communicate, I paid out of my pocket for a system to be able to take names, phone numbers, and emails. Not to freaking have somebody else sell them something or some crazy junk. It's just a system that makes a big list of people. And then you hook it up to another system. You Write out an email, press one button, it goes to everybody. Yeah, It's a way to keep people informed. So somebody came at me, and a couple of people have done this, with Dave, because you're using something that says online sales pro, we think it might be crook stuff. I'm like, bruh. Good. You know what? The don't, the don't get on it then. Who don't use it. Yes. Is it crook stuff, bro, when I'm on the, on the video for hours teaching you law stuff that nobody else will teach you in school that you would pay, you would pay a professor hundreds of thousands of dollars or a school to learn this information to get a degree. But they don't teach it to you in school, so you have to come to me and I teach it for free. It's all over the place. You can watch the videos that I do without ever going to a law school and know more than any attorney, period. And then some people are like, well, you're selling an affidavit class. I knew it was all about the money. So when I'm spending my nights and days up and helping people who are getting their kids back from CPS where, where kids may have been raped and all this stuff and I'm paying the money 
or buying a car for a mother because CPS says if you don't have a car, you can't get your kid back. Paying their house notes because if you don't have a house, we'll never give you your kids back. We want to leave them with no excuse. So it's funny. People will say, well, you got some money. I don't monetize my YouTube channel. I want to be free and be able to talk about what I want to. I don't want their dang money, right? I don't go to people begging for money. Hey, can you give me a gift? Can you give me some money? Can you do this for me? Blah, blah. People tell me they want to give me money. And I say, I don't want your money. I, I don't need that. And people say, please, please, please take some money from us. I'm good, right? A very few times I opened the door because people came with the right argument. They hit me with a religious argument. We want to be part of the work that God is doing. I'm like, oh, shucks. <laughs> Let me shut the freak up. I can't fight that one, right? I think Steve hit me with that. <laughs> Toe my butt up, you know? I was finished after that. I could, how are you going to argue that, right? So they want to take part in the work, like the Bible says. Good argument, good. We straight. So the thing is that we got to understand, though, is that we come on here for free. We teach you guys how to fight for free. We show you the law for free. Hours and hours and hours of video. If you went back to my YouTube, there was a Facebook that they took down. Thousands of hours worth of damning information. Hundreds and hundreds and hundreds and hundreds of thousands of people saw the stuff. And people started having victories. So I think this is super important, guys, to, to be able to understand and when you see something that says online sales pro is because I have a, a system that I pay for to be able to keep emails, names, and phone numbers. So when y'all need to know something, I can send it out. We could take action all at the same time. So just understand trolls don't like that. Trolls report your Facebook accounts because they don't want you communicating, showing the truth. Trolls get your YouTube accounts. They got Liz Harris. You got to understand these people do not want you talking. These people do not want you strengthened. They don't want you taking action because it's dangerous for them. People like y'all are dangerous, not physically, but dangerous because you knowing means that you're going to make other people know. And what's going to happen is, is people going to light that junk up and nobody can run. Nobody can run. The earth, which was really big before, is now shrinking because of internet and the knowledge. So you guys see, uh, General Flynn and Sidney Powell had orders from us for Trump. He had the chance to fix the nation. We gave him real wet remedy. Did we not, Josh? Real remedy. Yeah. So you guys, we wanted to show you guys some things in history to let you see what's really happening. Now, hey, I would say that anybody who's in the bar who really is about that life and don't want to be part of their sin should drop them. Get the freak out. Right. Uh, but the thing is, is that I, I can't pay some, you know, people look at me and they say, David, you have a page that it says online sales pro. So we're judging you and think that you might be doing something shady. I'm like, so I give you stuff for free and I'm shady. I, I don't understand. Like if people, like I said before, if you don't like something, then don't do it. Go somewhere else. That's right. I'm not going to sit here and debate you, try to talk you into proving this affidavit worse or proving this worse. If you don't want to do it, you got a better remedy somewhere else, then go do it. Yeah. I'm tired of arguing with these people. I've already seen it work with my own two eyes. I don't need to see any more. And if they don't want to believe it, then don't believe it. I don't care if you believe it or not. It's, it's, turn the channel. So yep. go find another remedy. Go, go call these brilliant <laughs> uh, business attorneys and have them find you remedy. Good luck. When they were like, just do what they say. Just shut down. Take your yeah. gym outside in 190 degrees. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. yeah. Put out some, put out some uh, what do you call those little mister things? <laughs> yeah. That'll help. You know? Yeah. It's, That's I mean, funny, people, isn't it? I, I just, I, I just, these people just crack me up, man. And you know what's sad is that a lot of these people are from the conservative side saying it. You know what? I don't care. If you don't believe, I'm not going to sit here and debate this any longer with you. Just go somewhere else. I'm done arguing with you about it. It's that if you easy. You want to sit there and get no results? That goes. That's what I say at the gym. If you don't want results, don't come here. Go to Eos Fitness. <laughs> go to go to Patty Cake Fitness if you yeah. if you ain't about that life. Go, go to Planet know? Fitness. We, they ain't about those results. You want results? You come here. <laughs> if you want to half ass it and, and and eat Oreos and crap, go to Planet Fitness. There it's you go. You. I just I, I just I don't play games, man. I'm just I'm not that guy. You know, I just it's not how I'm wired. Yep. I'm not going to waste my time doing something that doesn't work. There you go. No stuff that doesn't work, y'all. We got to realize that God is blessing us with a special opportunity to take action. 
And a lot of people will, will fight you and waste time because they want to slow down the action. They cannot slow down what we're doing if the people are learning. And so a lot of people, I, I'm no longer going to just do shows where anybody can test my knowledge. If you want to freaking test me, you can come on live like other people have and you can get all the smoke. I won't prepare. I'm telling y'all, any attorney, any judge, any Supreme Court justice can freaking come at any time. I will not prepare and you will get your behind handed to you in front of everybody. And I'm going to make you prove what you say and you ain't going to like it. So all this, let's test Dave stuff. I'm no longer going on anybody's shows to prove anything to anybody. If anybody want to come on and interfere with what I'm saying or show how bad they are, bring your butt on. You better lace your freaking cleats up and come with some real heavy artillery because you're going to get embarrassed, right? I'm done playing. We need to move the people. The people who are trying to fight, the people who have courage and want to stand, that's who I'm concerned about. Everything else, screw the garbage. So no longer am I opening the door for anybody to talk to me about how, how can I prove my stuff work? If you're a judge, you first prove what you're doing that works and what remedy you're giving the people. And if you're not doing it, I don't give a freak what you say from now on, straight like that, yeah. right? Yeah. Now, the people, we decided that we don't like what the freak the bar is doing to uh, Lynn Wood, Giuliani, Sidney Powell, what they did to um, Flynn, what they did to Matt Papadopoulos. DePerno. Who else? Matt DiPerno. Matt DiPerno. Yeah, we ain't down for all that bull. So now... The people are about to come with that freaking smoke. The people are about to deal with the bar this week. Josh Barnett and I will come up with notice. Plan of freaking action. Before Friday, it is our will to freaking hit them all across the country with some fire like they ain't never seen before. And watch this. Not only are we going to hit them with fire that they ain't never seen before, we're going to CC the freaking legislature and ask them where a private entity got the power to interfere with all our government issues and freaking what contract do they have with the people? And why are they working against the people? And I bet y'all, y'all going to start seeing people like uh, the attorneys that are going against General Flynn, Powell, Giuliani, DePerno, and all this stuff. They're going to start pumping their brakes. Now, people say, David, you can't prove your stuff works. I bet you the bar going to pump them freaking brakes. They were all gangster yesterday sending 73 attorneys to Arizona to do nothing. I bet you with Josh Barnett, I got and a ton of y'all bad mama jammas, the bar members about to freaking shut the freak up, right? So write down the date today. Say Josh Barnett and Dave are on video talking junk about the freaking private garbage bar. And we about to turn and bring the law to them. We are going to put the legislature on notice everywhere. And I bet you, I bet you, we going to see some real smoke. I bet you. So people could talk all that silly stuff that they want to. People can act like they're monsters and that they control the law and they're this and that. And as non-attorneys, we got to come talk. Screw that. We ain't got to talk to y'all about a dang thing. We're going to talk with pen and paper to the freaking bar and to the legislatures in every state. And we have the power to remove anybody in our government. And we ain't got to wait. We don't have to say every four freaking years. We will come at you today. So what we're going to do is, and I'll talk to Jess about it. I'll talk to Josh. We'll make a document today if the Lord lets us live to go against the bar. Today is uh, Tuesday, I think. Before Friday, if the Lord lets us live, it'll be out to everybody. And what we'll do is we'll all at the same time. We'll all at the same time go at the bar and we'll, we'll CC the legislature in every state <clears throat> and we'll make them prove. That's right, Thomas Blake. Detroit fire ain't no joke. Ask Antoine. We'll freaking go at the bar. We'll put them on notice. We'll come at them this week. 
All over the weekend, they'll be getting fired from us. All Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday of next week, they'll be getting fired from us. We're going to hit the legislature at the same time and force the legislature in every state to tell where the bar members got, a, got authority to run our state. Now, I'm just like this, y'all. I don't play a lot of games and I don't have respect for freaking clowns who go against our people. I don't have respect for clowns who got the nerve to try to attack the people when they're trying to get freedom. I don't have the time for clowns who sit in offices setting up the people to take their cars, houses, money, dogs, cats, grandmothers, and every freaking thing else. So that day is over with. Now, if the bar wants to keep working in America, the people are getting ready to stand the freak up and show them we ain't down with their games. If the gar bar wants to continue to work in our states, the bar is going to learn that they better understand what the common law is and they better start respecting the freaking people like immediately. And if they don't, we will change government in front of everybody's face. Now, let me tell you all what's going to happen. President Trump is going to get word of what we're doing against the bar. Sidney Powell is going to get word of what we're doing against the bar. General Flynn is going to get notice of what we're doing against the bar. Giuliani is going to get notice of what we're doing against the bar. But Hizzy is going to get notice of what we're doing against the bar. CanCon is going to get notice of what we're doing against the bar. Uh, Marcus D is going to get notice of what we're doing to the bar. Neil Johnson is going to get notice of what we're doing to the bar. Q from, um, I forgot the name of his channel, uh, Out of the Darkness is going to get notice of what we're doing to the bar. And you notice, and, and Nick Cedar, notice about what we're doing to the bar. And here's what's going to happen, guys. Those last people I named who you guys look at YouTube as YouTube uh, talent that is bringing out fire, the YouTube talent that is bringing out fire is more important to me and more valuable to me than all of the mainstream news medias put together. Just take one of them and they're greater because they're honest and they're powerful and they bring forth truth and the and the 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 courts are afraid of them liz harris as well the courts are afraid of them the uh legislatures are afraid of them because they show the truth and they don't want the truth out like that so i'm letting y'all know that we the people yeah julie green ministries too the people are about to light some freaking fire like never ever 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 before and i'm telling y'all I'm telling y'all what's coming before it comes because I know who God is, not because I'm special. But all these people who taught this silly stuff about what don't work and what might not happen, notice they're not doing these things. So watch the, co the coincidences that start happening in every state. Like I, I told Candace Taylor, monster freaking fighter. Oh, the courts are going to start trying to give y'all stuff and, and, and make a way for things to happen through them because they don't want you to take back all the power like happened in Arizona. If we keep tearing down everything, what the heck is that? Sorry, guys. So the thing is, guys, what's going to happen is <clears throat> the people are going to stand and do the things that others would not do. And you guys realize your power. Sorry, here's Josh. Oh, Josh has left. Dang it, Josh. <laughs> <laughs> right so guys let me know if this is once again some freaking fire uh-oh somebody dropping some stuff at the post office in georgia <laughs> that freaking smoke y'all hold on one second So let me know if this has been some fire for you guys. Has this been some fire for y'all? Let me know if this is making sense. Let me know if it's fire. Let me know if you guys are enjoying seeing what's happening in real life. I'm not giving you guys stuff that I just think. I'm not giving you guys conspiracy theory, right? Like they say, conspiracy theory. <laughs> 
I'm giving y'all real life stuff that you can read and it verifies exactly what the freak we did. Now, the attorneys in the freaking movement don't want you to know what we've done, right? They, they want you to think that they got to they gotta say if it's real or not. Well, I'm showing y'all real life stuff that ain't nobody else doing, you know? Now, does that mean I'm something special? Heck no, I'm a small fry. It's God, right? God has led me to do some things that he'll use me for his purpose. And when he's done using me for this purpose, he'll send me back wherever he wants me to go and I mind my own dang business. But, you know, as for me and my peeps, we going to bring that smoke. Like the Bible says, as for me and my house, we will serve the Lord. As for me and my peeps, we going to drop fire. That's what we going to do. I don't give a darn about what everybody else trying to do, but we going to bring smoke and we going to bring fire. Right. So um, I didn't see. I asked Josh if he wanted to come back on. I, I don't know if he came back on by mistake or something happened. Tried to put him in here and he bounced out. He was gone. I didn't think I had him waiting in the background, but I could have. Um, but guys. This is how you bring resolution. Yes, Michael Fletcher. This is how you bring resolution. This is how you fix stuff. And this is how you correct the government who is doing wrong. So guys, I wanted to get this video to you guys. I hope you enjoyed the smoke. I thank you guys so much for watching. Please give me some feedback. Please share all over. We are putting these uh, notices out before Friday if the Lord wills. We are going to bring the fire to the bar. The bar want to pick on people. The bar are some big, bad bullies, right? And we ain't got nobody rolling with us who want to go after the bar. They want to let the bar just hang out. They giving money to the bar. Well, we ain't playing that game. We're coming head up with the bar. So we're going to put that bar on notice and we're going to hit the legislature at the same time in every state. So if the legislature can't show us that the bar was created by us and that they are there to serve us, then they have a conflict of interest and the legislature in every every state, but it gets to removing clowns or we're going to have to just use the law to peacefully remove everybody. It's that easy. So they can say what they want to say. They better realize that we coming and we ain't freaking plan. We are using the law peacefully and humbly and there's nobody who can beat us. So as I said, any attorney, any judge, Supreme Court justice, any day of the week who want to come bring that smoke you're allowed to come on my show and you better come correct because if you don't, you're going to get embarrassed in front of everybody. And I think we know that's true by now. So you can stand on the side of the people. You can stand on the side of your little team. Either way, I don't give a freak. You can bring it however you want to bring it. And I'm ready right there to meet you where you're at. And I think the people are gaining the confidence to do the same thing. Y'all really ain't that tough and that brilliant in the bar. Y'all just been telling us whatever y'all want to tell us. And now we know that y'all been full of crap. We know y'all been lying. So we testing y'all now. <laughs> we testing y'all to see what's up. And it is what it is. So anyway, I want to thank you guys for coming on. I love you guys. I want y'all to stay out of trouble. Please continue to step up and fight and do the right thing. Please continue to be strengthened. Do not let a silly bar attorney make you think that you got to be a bar attorney to learn the law. And I love you guys as well. I thank you guys for coming on. I just wanted to show y'all some real freaking fire. I told y'all the stuff that we did. And there was no way for me to verify other than a few people what happened. But I thought I'd just bring you a news article that hates the people who we talk about. And this way they would confirm with somebody who don't even like them that what we said was true. So if you want to stand up and grow and be tough and, and save this nation, you have the power to do it. People don't want you to believe you have a voice, but you got a freaking voice and we're going to use it and we're going to shout out loud and we're going to have victory in the name of Jesus Christ. All right. So y'all continue to kick butt. Y'all continue to move forward. Let me know if you want to be involved in what we're doing. Please go to at Dave Cares for You over on Odyssey and subscribe to me, guys. Um, I know they're going to try to take down uh, what it is that we're doing sooner or later. So if you're on Odyssey, I heard we can go live there and we're we're going to step up. The way you're going to be able to join this is we're going to put out a notice soon. We're going to all uh, come together and probably do a video on it. Um, we're going to give a shout out openly to those who have fought for us in the bar that's getting attacked now, like Matt DiPerno, Leon Wood, Sidney Powell. Um, and all those who have been punished by the bar using our courts to prosecute them unlawfully, we are going to come out and talk about it openly. 
Most people are afraid to do that. We're not freaking af afraid. Nobody is getting a pass who's attacking the people. Nobody who's part of a group that is attacking the people that will not stand up and fight against and say it will not get a pass. So if you wish to judge us as a bar attorney, you need to drop your license first. Because because the bar attorneys, y'all admit that they're going against us. Everybody will admit that, even the bar attorneys. So if that's the case, then we need you, before you come talking silly, to get rid of your bar card, stop giving them money, and then talk to us about real remedy, real life, and all that stuff. Until then, everything you say you don't really believe. Because we don't give money to people who we know get kids raped. We don't give money to people who we know are trafficking. We don't give money to people who are doing the wrong things. So I can't be part of the club of wrong. If I join the deep state tomorrow, everybody will stop watching me. So why is it that attorneys who admit that the bar is doing wrong get to keep being in the entity, helping them with money and not attacking them full fledged? If they stayed in and they attacked them full fledged and really went out there and told the people to come against them and do notices and affidavits against them, I wouldn't have a problem with you standing in the club. But when you want to talk bad about people who are outside the club for going after a club that you also is bad, also would say is bad, I got a problem with that. So if you were one of those ones who want to stay in the club, let the club know that you're going to bring that fire to them and tell everybody to do it and come on and join us. If you're part of the club, and you're going to stay with the club. That's fine, too. I don't give a freak. Just don't come at us funny because we coming at y'all. Just know that we're coming. So the people are putting out notices this week. They better get ready. Because the legislatures in every state are going to have to explain how the freak they got this little club of people running everything. And it's going to fall real fast. So thank God for all he is doing. Thank God for our suffering. I thank God for the fact that they went after me, even though they took my little guys. I understand that it is my duty to bless everybody. And through what I suffered through, God is saving the nation. And so I'm thankful. God does things on his time. God does his will, but God is very good. God gave me little guys. God can protect my little guys. And God is going to bring back my little guys. I'm not worried. So uh, we are going to see some monstrous fire come out this week like you've never seen before. Y'all better tell them they better get ready because they sent out 75 against us, 73. They better realize the nation are coming. Um, the nation is coming against these people. My channel is at Dave Cares For You on Odyssey. So anyway, I'm going to catch y'all later. I hope uh, I hope you guys are blessed. I hope you guys have a good day. I'm going to go ahead and get off now. You guys are the bomb. Oh, no, we, they can know what's coming. I don't give a freak, right? They're not stopping what's coming from us. So, and we need the haters to know so y'all can see what happens when they come against us. I want y'all to see exactly what we're doing. And exactly what's happening. So you could be the judge in real life. Oh, what's the chances that could have happened? Y'all going to start seeing articles and stories all over the place where the bar going to be trying to help. They're going to be trying to help because they know they're about to lose every place in every society that we've allowed them to be in. And if they continue to fight against the people, they have no work no more. Period. They are boycotted worse than a freaking civil rights march. We ain't going on your bus. The bar attorneys are going to be freaking sick. I'm telling y'all. So let him keep playing this game. But anyway, I'm going to catch y'all later. I love y'all. Y'all stay out of trouble. Peace. I'm going to go ahead and.